In this video we're looking at construction management. Uh, this video has been prepared as part of the construction practices course for UniTech. Uh, in construction practices we look at how we construct things but we also look at how we manage the resources that construct things and uh, the managing of the resources, the management, is a significant part of what uh, engineers do in civil engineering projects. So let's look at a civil engineering project. Uh, here's the life cycle of a typical one. You can see that it's a design bid build. Um, it starts off with the client deciding whether he wants to go ahead with it, the consultant doing the design, uh, tendering for a contractor and then the construction happens. So what we're interested in on this course is that last stage of the project life uh, when it's being constructed. So it's already been uh, designed by a consultant and now it's been constructed. So what we're interested in is what the contractor does and um, with your uh, qualification you'll probably end up being an engineer. Uh, you may end up being an engineer working on a construction site for a construction company. Uh, you'll be called a contractor. Uh, and your job, if you're in that role, is to construct the project works as they have been designed by the consultant. So the consultant does the design, produces the um, contract documents, uh, which will include the uh, specifications and plans which say this is what we want you to build and it is the contractor's job to construct those works as they have been designed or if they can't be designed uh, or reach an agreement with the consultant otherwise. So that is what we are concentrating on in this course, that, 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 that role there, the role of the contractor. So the contractor needs to construct something um, as per the plans and that it requires management, managing the resources to do it. So construction management is the overall planning, coordination, control uh, of the project from beginning to end. Now we're talking about the contractor's uh, project. So the contractor's project starts when he wins the contract. Um, before that, in the, the life cycle of the project, um, there will have been design done, there will have been feasibility studies and things like that. But for the purposes of this course, the project, the construction project starts when the contractor wins that uh, contract to do the building. So construction management, sorry I'll just back up a bit. Construction management is aimed at meeting the client's requirements in order to produce a functionally and um, financially viable project. In other words, you need to build what the client has asked you to build. So that is one of your objectives, that's that quality objective there, is that the client has said he wants to build this way and you build it that way. There aren't any defects or deficiencies, you've built what he requires, no more no less, so there aren't any deficiencies, uh, there aren't any, aren't any excesses. Um, if he's asked for a particular um, standard of work to be done, you've achieved that standard, so if he's asked for a particular type of steel, you produce that steel. Um, if he's asked for a particular standard of workmanship, you've done that. But you also need to have a limited amount of time to do it. Most contracts give you a set time period. And you want to bring it in, um, in that time, by that completion date. You will have put a price together, a budget, uh, sorry, a, a contract price, that you would have won the, the contract with. Um, and you need to build it within that budget. So cost is another... Um, objective, another thing you want to achieve. So you want to bring it in on time, you want to bring it on budget. You also want to bring it in safely. Um, you, At the end of the project you want to look back on it and see that there weren't any, no one was injured, no one was hurt and definitely no one was killed. Now safety, all of these other objectives here you have to compromise on. Um, if you want it done cheaply um, you have to take more time. If you want it done, um, so, so those are all compromised. Um, Safety is the one objective we do not compromise on. We do not do something uh, unsafely because it will save us money or because it will save us time. We are always looking at doing the job safely minimal, um, and that is, that is our top priority. Um, there's also the environment. Um, civil engineering works affect the environment, the natural environment, and we want to minimise that sort of effects. Um, we're also working within the human environment um, and we can cause nuisance, that's sort of dust, noise. We want to minimise that as well. So 
the neighbors we there will be noise there will be dust but we want to minimize that down to the point where um, it's not significantly impacting on their lifestyle and um, the reputation at the end of the project you want the client to think they, they were really good contractors I'd hire them again because um, your next job depends on your reputation are you um, perceived to be a good contractor if you are then you are probably going to get more work if you're not then you're going to find it a bit harder now the one another concept you need to understand is risk you've got these objectives um, and there are things that may happen that will affect them so for example it could rain um, and that might delay the time on your project now you can't stop it from raining but you can plan in that if it rains this is what we're going to do so you've got a bit of a plan. So risk is an uncertain event or condition. So it raining is an uncertain event or condition. You don't know when it's going to rain. Uh, if it occurs, it has an effect on at least one project objective. In this case, it'll affect time. Um, it probably affect cost as well. So the effect is a change as a result of the event. So um, you were hoping to work on Monday, but it's raining, so therefore you can't. So that's the effect. Um, it may be that. Um, that's a negative effect. A positive effect could be it didn't rain in the whole um, project. You anticipated it was going to rain, you'd planned for it to rain, but it didn't rain. So that's a positive effect, it means that you had more time to do the project. Uncertainty. Um, civil engineering in particular, we don't know what the soils are like, we don't know what's going to happen, we don't know when it's going to rain, we don't know if the operator's going to be sick, we don't know if the plants going to break down, we don't know if the community is going to get angry at us. Um, so we, there's a lot of things we don't know. So we're always in a state of deficiency of information. We don't know everything. Uh, and so that's what uncertainty means. So we don't know when these events are going to happen. All we can do is we can anticipate that they may happen and if they happen we plan for um, what we're going to do about it. And the objectives we've talked about before are what we wish to achieve. So the degree of wit, risk um, is the likelihood of the risk occurring and the severity of the consequences if the event occurs. So for example, you're working in your office, you get a paper cut. There's a risk of you getting a paper cut. So the likelihood of getting a paper cut is pretty high, but the severity of the consequences, just a cut finger, is not too severe. So you're not too worried about you know, paper cuts. However, um, a crane could, uh, crane hook could um, f fail and drop a load on someone. Now the consequences of that would be really quite significant. Um, the person could be hurt or they even could be killed. The likelihood is low. However that means that the degree of risk is quite high and you need to pay more attention to that risk over say getting paper cuts. So that's what you're doing all the time. Um, some people say that management is really just risk management, is anticipating what are, the, what are your objectives, what are the things that are going to stop you from achieving your objectives and what are you going to do to A, make it unlikely or less likely that they'll happen, reduce the chances of them happening, and B, if they do happen, reducing the severity of the consequences. So for example, um, on a construction site, you'll have everyone wearing reflector vests because that reduces the likelihood of a digger driver or a truck driver or an operator not seeing the person and running them over. So you're reducing the likelihood of a person being hit by a truck. Um, you may also have people wearing steel cap boots. Um, steel cap boots, if someone drops a steel cap boot, then um, the event has happened. Um, they've, had, they've dropped a hammer on their foot. Now, whether they get a broken foot or not depends on whether they're wearing steel cap boots. So the severity of the consequences is being reduced. So all the time you're thinking of what is the likelihood of the event occurring, how can I reduce the, all these events, how can I reduce them happening, and if they do happen, how can I reduce the severity of the consequences. So construction management, um, this is a simple model of construction management. Um, plan, do, check, act. Now normally you'll see this in the context of quality control, but it's also applicable to management in, in general. So you start off with a plan. What do we need to do? What are our objectives? How are we going to do it? What resources do I need? Um, when do I need those resources? How am I going to get those resources? So you have a plan. You figure out how am I going to do it. So you come up with a work plan. Then you do it. You start work on the thing. You get the resources on site. You arrange for the materials to arrive. You arrange for the labour to be there. You coordinate them. You make sure the material is turning up at the time that it needs to be turned up. So you implement what you've actually planned. 
um, and then when you have completed part of the work so you might have completed a floor slab or something like that um, you check did we do what we needed to do so you're looking at the contract document you're looking at the specifications and drawings have we built what we're supposed to build uh, if not what went wrong uh, and that's an ongoing process so it's not like you check the slab right at the end you'll check the steel when it arrives you'll check the steel when it's been put in place you'll check the steel before the pour happens so you'll be doing all of that um, to make sure that you're achieving the quality and then the last one there is act if something goes wrong or at the end of the project or at the end of part of the project you look back and you say how can we do this better because you're always trying to improve how can we do better next time and so the next time you plan it you actually plan better you use the experience from the previous project or the previous um, activity and you um, your plan is just that little bit better so um, that's what you're sort of looking at for construction management so that concludes this um, video um, there are a few more so I suggest you sort of look at those before class next week